Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of an Investor Pump. As you know, Investor Pumps is among the top players in metallic pumps for all kinds of chemical industries. Preventive and regular maintenance takes care of 70% of total life cycle costs of any chemical process pump. Since we at Investa Pumps believe that performance is everything, we ensure that we are with you all the way from purchase onwards. As a part of our commitment and continued quality of our service levels, we offer through this DVD presentation a simple introduction to pumps and addresses common installation, assembly and maintenance issues. Welcome to the world of Investa. Let us look at some of the common definitions of pumps and pump parts that are to be known and used by you. A centrifugal pump is a rotodynamic pump that uses a rotating impeller to increase the pressure and flow rate of a liquid. Priming is an action required to evacuate all the air bubbles from the pump and pipeline before startup in order to create a vacuum to pump the liquid. Cavitation and action that occurs due to the presence of air bubbles, also known as starving. Let's look at some related steps and actions. Step for pump priming to avoid cavitation. Suction supply above the pump, suction supply below the pump. Equipment related to pumps. We shall now look at the equipments that we will be using which are related to the pumps. We will also understand some do's and don'ts related to installation. Foot valve is found at the bottom of the suction line of the pump. Before installation, you have to make sure that the foot valve is placed without any foreign particles. All the air bubbles should also be removed. Suction and discharge pipe. Pipes are required for suction and discharge of the liquid at the desired height. Strainer Device used to separate liquids from solids and installed in the suction line of the liquid. Foreign particles tend to enter and choke the pump. To avoid this, we recommend regular checking and cleaning of strainers. Non-return valve Valve that is installed in the discharge line of the pump, preventing the backflow of the liquid this helps the pump to run without any back pressure. Do remember that the non-return wall should be placed at a minimum of 1.5 meters above the discharge flank. Routing of the base plate. Step 1. Clean all the areas of the base plate that will come into contact with the grout. Step 2. Build a dam around the foundation. Step 3. Thoroughly wet the foundation that will come into contact with the grout. Step 4. Pour grout through the grout hole into the base plate up to the level of the dam. Next, place the pump with motor on the base frame. Now, check the driver rotation and coupling alignment. Is it fine? Great! Now, align the pump with the motor using dial indicator. How do you do this? Pay close attention. Step 1. Attach two dial indicators on the pump's coupling half. Attach one indicator so that the indicator rod comes into the contact with the perimeter of the driver's coupling half. This indicator is used to measure parallel misalignment. B. Attach the other indicator such that its rod comes in contact with the inner end of the driver's coupling half. This indicator is used to measure angular misalignment. C. Rotate the pump's coupling half to check the indicator are in contact with the driver's coupling half but do not bottom out. Adjust the indicators if necessary. Alignments, coupling and motors. Two improper ways of alignment can be corrected by 
horizontal correction, vertical correction. Here is the procedure for assembly of pumps. Stage 1. Bearing house in shaft assembly. Stage 2 Mechanical Seal Assembly Stage 3, wetted parts assembly. Oil cup or side glass indication. Oil breather and drain plug. These are some points to be taken care of while starting of the pump. Make sure the oil is filled inside the bearing housing and 60% of the bearing are dipped inside the oil. Commonly used piping plans for Investor pumps. Pump operation troubleshooting. Once your pump is installed, assembled and running, you need to be aware of some basic points for troubleshooting in case some common problems occur. We shall look at this in two stages. Number one, the pump is not primed, which leads to cavitation and starving of the pump. Reprime the pump and make sure that the pump and suction line are full of liquid. Number two, the suction line is clogged. Remove the obstructions. Number three, the impeller is clogged. Back flush the pump to clean the impeller. Number four, wrong rotation of the motor. Change the rotation according to the arrow shown. Number five, the foot valve or suction pipe opening is not submerged enough. Consult an investor service personnel to check the correct submerged depth. Use baffle to eliminate vortices. Number six, the suction lift is too high. Shorten the suction pipe. Number seven, stuffing box may have an air leak. Readjust the packing of the mechanical seal. Number eight, the gaskets or O-rings may have an air leak. Replace the gaskets or O-rings. Number nine, the pump and driver are not aligned properly. Realign the pump and driver. Number 10, the lubricant is not applied properly. Check the lubricant for suitability and level. Pump assembly troubleshooting. Number one, the internal clearance of the bearing is too great. Replace the bearing with the correct of the correct type. Number two, the snap ring is loose in the bearing housing groove. Reset the snap ring. Number three, the sleeve is worn. Replace the sleeve. Number four, the shaft is bent. Replace the shaft. Number five, the stuffing box is packed improperly. Check the packing and repack the box and tighten the gland nuts. Number six, scoring on the shaft sleeve. Machine or replace the shaft sleeve as necessary. Number seven, the mechanical seal is overheating. Check the lubrication and cooling lines. Prevention. We hope that these step-by-step -step explanation of installation, assembly, troubleshooting, and preventive measures to be taken will help you in maintaining and running your Investor Pump in day-to-day -day life. 
we also assure you that we will be there with you at any given time just a phone call away we wish you all the very best in all your future endeavors thank you